So yeah. on your vision boards that you made back then, did you reach all your goals? Have you? I DLQ. I'm going to go in my closet and I'm going to take a picture of that old ass vision board and I'm going to send it to you. Yeah. I'm going to put it on the video. No, yeah. for real. I'm going to take a picture of that yeah, vision yeah. board and I'm yeah. going to send it to you. And I know when you see what's all that that amateur shit that's on that <laughs> vision board. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh, yeah, she done did all that. You know, because now my vision board is so much higher. And I do yes. it every year. Absolutely. But it definitely, it, it, man, if people don't believe in manifestation, I'll say that. you better. Vision boards and just writing down stuff in general is, is, is right. Big. You always hear people say that. It, it sounds cliche, but it really mm. works. Even I, I can, sometimes you'll go to old boxes. Yes. I used to write down that, like, I wanted to make a certain amount of money on certain Yeah. Year, and you'll go back. Ten years later, look at it like, man, Ooh, I did, I did that. that. Man, yeah. like, it, it give you, it give you that full circle moment yeah. to show you how yeah. God, how God is yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. you know, I remember I had put a million dollar check on yeah. one of mine. Yeah. I had yes. to go through the archive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I had put it on there. Yeah, yeah. and it, it catches you off guard when you go back and actually look because you be like, just yeah. like you said, damn, I did yeah. that. Yeah, okay, like you don't even you don't yeah, even yeah, think don't even, that this yeah, type yeah. of stuff can come yeah. to you yeah. without doing something illegal. Yeah, say that. You know, <laughs> so when you doing something that's legal, you ain't got to look over your back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you earned it. You earned this. Yeah. Yeah. And you did it with integrity and respect for people, mm -hmm. man. Say, yeah. yep. yeah. that's why I do. That's what I do. What I do. That's why I do so much giving back, y'all. It's just genuinely in me. Mm -hmm. It's genuinely in me to uh, put smiles on other people's faces yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. You yeah. know. So, yeah. so how long did you do it? By, do the tax portion by yourself before you hired like your first employee? Ooh, employee. Toya. Uh, oh, Toya is your first employee? Yeah. That's the first person. That was the first. She's man, so awesome. say, right, yeah, I didn't Toya, bring, Toya awesome. I didn't bring Toya in until 2019. Oh, that's what's yeah. up. Because that's a big hurdle a lot of entrepreneurs go yes, through. Yes, trusting people. It's just them, they yes. spouse. And, man, my and, and see, just trusting people, yeah. period. Yeah. This is sensitive information, so... Man, I'm so thankful for Toya. Did you, was I am she a client so, first? Or? No, she wasn't. I had Ever? put out a uh I had put something on Instagram, I mean on Facebook mm -hmm. about uh hiring a uh a preparer, somebody to come in just help in the office. Mm -hmm. Man, when she came, cause listen, taxes can be so stressful. Yeah. And I I found myself like two years in a row get being hospitalized because I oh, had wow. By the time Toya came in, I had over 700 clients. She was like, oh, wow. how have you been doing this <laughs> by yourself? She yeah. was like, I see why you get sick and and go to the hospital and stuff. Yeah. Like, I was... No I was for you. Yes. <laughs> you got to... You, you, you can't really reach certain goals unless you have a team. Yeah. To give people an idea of how many clients 700 is the average preparer probably does how many a year the average preparer pre um uh, may do about 80 80 so the average, the average person does 80 mm -hmm. and you were doing seven i was doing probably. 700 people by myself by yes so incredible. i was in, in and you know some of this was in the midst of still having a job wow you know yeah. that's why i was like so overwhelmed with everything that my body was shut down mm -hmm. yeah. because you know us as scorpios we want to get it done Absolutely. we're trying to go that's ahead out. and da, 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 da. then when your phone ring you're trying to answer for everybody yeah. you're trying to do this that and the other and it just shut my body down two years in a row my husband was like babe you can't keep doing it like yeah. that you gotta yeah. get some help mm -hmm. And help, I man. listened to him and I got the help. And man, when I tell you, it just, it was such a big relief for me, mm -hmm. you know, such a big relief. And for her to be such a genuine, loyal person yes. that come in and help, she came in right on time. And that's why she's my GM to this day. And you're going to see her if you see me, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that lady really came in and yeah. now she helped me. You know, she helped me open up to bringing other people in, and yeah. now we can function. We can function real good, and I don't have to worry about half the stresses I did at first. Yeah. How Make long? Had, how long before she came on after you started? Um, she came. So it was about a year after I started accepting like partners. Yeah. Well, after you started. 
Oh, 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 I had started taxing, so that was 12 years. I I had been running 12 years by myself because I didn't bring Tonya in until 2019. She didn't actually start until the 2020 tax season. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I brought her in at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. In in 2020, we were doing 2019, Mm -hmm. but it was the 2020 tax season. Yeah. 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 And the reason I asked that is because so many people, that's a big wall, especially for black business. Right. Normally, you got your cousin. He want to go outside. Right. Yeah. Halfway do the work. Right. You got your mama halfway answering the phone. You, yeah. You're hiring people based on your relationship. Right. Not their skills. Yeah. Exactly. And no. It, it, did you ever have any of your family members, anybody work I for you I did not. Okay. I okay. did not. I was doing it all on my own. And yeah. that's just because of that fear of putting somebody else's Stuff information in, in somebody else's hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, something happened. I was just really stuck on that. Like, yeah. I didn't want nobody to ever get yeah. in that type of situation. But uh, I chose the right person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. he said the right person to me. And we don't have those problems. Says but it took me. You shall receive. So yes. That's Y'all better open your I talk to big guy like he's standing in front of me. Yeah, like absolutely. God, what are you what are you trying to tell yes, me? Sir. You know, what what do I need to do? Cause this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So show me the way, man. Yeah. Yeah. So you have any bad, bad partnerships through that early on? I I've I don't I don't want to say bad partnerships, but I have had a few hiccups yeah. in the tax industry dealing with other people and you just gotta go to them directly and handle it like adults Mm -hmm. you know and just make sure you got your ducks in a row when it comes to contracts and what you expect of them because people gonna try to they gonna try you Mm -hmm. you know so you just gotta have your ducks in a row to let them know that okay this person ain't to be played with Yeah. yeah So, So and it's okay to sever certain business ties if it's no longer working for you, you know, and just going on about your business. Yeah. Yeah, But you know, people try you. It's all good. It come with, it come with any game. You know what I'm saying? It it come with the territory. (laughs) So, you know, you're going to have some kind, it ain't all going to be cookies and cream. Yeah. Yeah. You know, especially dealing with all the people I deal with. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. My partners. Oh my God. I love them. You got right now. 102. 102 uh-huh. partners. Uh-huh. 102. Part. So dealing with all those different personalities and people having, look, you know, you can get a text message and it look like an attitude. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, hold on, you screaming yeah. at me? Hold yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Hello? So what are we talking about here? You know, yeah. like, do it. Sometimes you need to, let me hear your voice so I can hear your perspective. Home, so yeah. So yeah. So I'm, yeah. So I'm not tripping. Yeah. Because you, you, you sending me something in all caps like I'm doing something, you know, so. Yeah. You know, it, I don't. I don't dealt with some of everything, but uh, one thing we haven't dealt with was nobody coming saying they didn't get their refunds, or anybody mm-hmm. did mess with their information, or yeah. just talk down in a negative yeah. way about myself or Pretty Quick Tax. Yeah, because you got a uh, stellar reputation. Yes, 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 and yeah. I, I just pray that it stays the way it yeah. is. You know, every is that business something that you actively work at. Like, I want to make sure. Hey, I'm. I'm doing what's right and yeah. all that good stuff. It yeah. all it all comes with compliance. Yeah. You know, because for one, we gotta we gotta talk to the IRS. You know, these are the ones who got yeah. All the authority to shut me down, yeah, yeah. and this—if I'm the bread and butter for all these other people, responsible for I gotta make sure my shit is top tier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't play when it comes to being uh, organized, being in compliance with what the IRS needs, and just safeguarding my people information and paying people. Yeah. yeah. Pay these people these damn money, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Listen. I don't understand why these people are out here not paying people their money. Mm-hmm. If they haven't done anything fraudulent or something like that that could get yeah. you caught up in something, pay these people their money. Yes. A lot of people mm-hmm. come to me because they don't get paid. Mm-hmm. My so, people. So they're working with other people and the people yeah, are like taking. They're not. They're just not money. getting paid. Because, yeah. you know, some people, they get that drop. It comes to this one person. If they greedy, then. They're going to keep it. They're going to keep it. <laughs> so the, so for the people not familiar with the. The, the lingo. That, the, yeah. The, the tax yeah, lingo. So what the drop when is. I say the drop, when you first get the first drop around about February 20th through the 23rd or something like that. So that's like the deposit. The from deposits the from the people that got accepted. Okay. Uh, for By the. 
the IRS. IRS. Okay. Uh huh. That first drop, the first two, three drops be could be the biggest bag you've ever seen in your life. Got it. So, okay. So you do, let's say, uh, five hundred return between January and February, and then uh -huh. you get a big. You get a big drop of all drop. those people that get approved okay. by the IRS. And that's so. normally the biggest one for the year. Right. Not the first one, the second one. Oh, the second one. The second okay. one is always, almost always the biggest drop. Okay. The okay. first one you might get a uh, hundred that okay i'm speaking on it's my like a, a test. yeah yes it's a test, test batch yeah mm -hmm. okay. so you might get a hundred thousand dollar drop okay. or something like that mm -hmm. but that next time when all those slew of other people that file yeah. in in uh late january early february all yeah. those people oh you might get a half a million dollar drop gotcha. yeah and so other prepared not other prepared. and so other, if you gotta other, pay other, these people up under you they'll just keep the money they'll just keep the money and run off mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's it's crazy. It's I crazy. Got, but people be we got to talk about that. Man, yeah. Yeah, we, it's going on. Yeah. It, it's going on. You know, we see it in the yeah, tax industry. We, we see it. Yeah. We know who who do what what who bad are. names is out there, <laughs> this, that, and the other, because they have a reputation for that. Yep. Yeah. You know, but I choose to not because you're gonna get you you're gonna get greater later if you do right by people absolutely yeah. you know what i'm saying so those people that had or do or those those type of they benefit me mm -hmm. because they be like man y'all getting paid before it even gets to me they already scoping my pe people hey y'all oh we get paid every week like clockwork yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying because i got i don't i don't i'm not greedy i don't need to yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't need to take nobody hard-earned yeah. money at What's that. Yours is yours. What's mine is mine. Yeah. I, I know I'm gonna get a bag just because I got my own clientele. Right. But for these people that don't work hard to send mm -hmm. you clients and this, that, and the other, and you just skate them, uh -uh, yeah. nah, that ain't right. Because if the shoe's on the other foot, I'm ready to fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> straight up, I'm ready to fight. So yeah. it all goes back to the golden rule: you treat people how you mm -hmm. want to be treated. Absolutely. You stand on what you. If you got a contract with people, you stand on that contract. Yeah, you know. What I'm saying do what you said you're gonna do yeah mm -hmm. straight up yeah that's real how you feel about that oh absolutely i'm with you little we yeah. like, <laughs> baby sure. i mean think about it if you got somebody who um they gotten some money then you know they got the money they flossed around and you like where's yeah. my money right and they blocking your calls not answering phone calls yes yeah I'm that's a slap in the face yes the disrespect that they right so, right yeah I i'm ready to fight for sure nah straight <laughs> up Any anybody will feel us on that that's just like your kinfolk owing you money you see them turned up buying bottles all <laughs> <laughs> up, up i come knock out this <laughs> shit <laughs> Got me messed up. All right. Yeah. So, so that's how you get a lot of a lot of people who had bad experiences. Yeah. Yeah. And then they end up coming over to you. Yeah, they'll come over to me. Uh and I bet them too though. Yeah. You know, I don't I I, I'm not that easy to get next to. Yeah, yeah. So I understand you in a bad situation, but then if it, if it don't fit for me, then it just don't fit. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. And you so. got to protect yourself. You're not in a position to help somebody. Right. They, 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 they you got to protect your business in the end. But one, you just don't want that negative energy around yeah. you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't want yeah. that negative energy because they're going to come over here. They're going to they gonna question everything you do. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, so you say we get paid Wednesday. What, what time? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like oh, just chill out. Yeah. Exactly. I, I stand on what I say. You're going to get your money with yeah. me. You know, yeah. so, you know, that. but that's what comes with it. You got to build trust with those people too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then you can kind of understand where they come from if they are dealt with some situation like that, so they on edge because they like, right? I've already dealt with this uh -huh. before. I hope I get paid. Right. But, well, she said I was gonna get my money on this day. I wonder if I'm really gonna get my money right. on this day. Yeah. So yeah, I, I see it. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I I do get that. Um, but you know you can't do nothing but just be be um for real with these people and mm -hmm. let them know that's why i give my people a schedule hey this is how we for to do it be very transparent mm -hmm. that way my phone ain't ringing for that type of stuff yep non-stop mm -hmm. non-stop mm -hmm. yep. yeah so, so what's some of the kind of pitfalls you done ran into since you've been starting your business like you mentioned that you you didn't know any you kind of doing this kind of winging it right right so what kind of pitfalls that you ran into uh, that's of one of the things just yeah. not having all of your business in not knowing 
certain things need to be input into your business. Yeah. Uh, so that can be very detrimental to a person because you do the wrong thing, you get shut down by the bank. Yeah. You do the wrong thing, the IRS gonna come knocking on your door. Yeah. You know, so they send you warning letters. So you know you gotta get the shit together. Yeah. So um, it was just not knowing certain things. Not knowing, uh, not knowing how to make my job easier by adding certain things. Because as the years go by, technology kind of like takes over so it's yeah. time for you to implement new things look at your sops you know teach people how to run the, to run the business without you being there mm -hmm. your business is supposed to be still functional even without if you're you not there so not there. i had to get to that point because i still work in my business yeah. but if i was to if i was to take myself out it's still gonna run yeah you know so but i did have to go with my hurdles by not having certain information not having a real mentor back then yeah. um but now going yeah. forward where I, I I made, you know, good money, it ain't no use in not investing back into yeah. yourself and yeah. into any knowledge that could help your business run smoothly. Mm -hmm. And the thing about me, anything that I learn, I'm mm -hmm. going to pass it down to my team. If you're yeah. on my team, you're going to get flooded. You're literally going to get flooded with, with whatever I know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.